We're going to do a diamond cover stitch here. We start by finding the middle of the rope that we're going to tie around the handle. And we tie a simple overhand knot in the end of that rope. Watch as I do it here. This is just like the first knot you make when you're tying your shoes. Pull it up. Singe it down. Now look at this. This side is on the bottom, and the other side is on the top. We're going to start with the one that's on the bottom. We t take the string in the direction that it wants to go and turn it towards the a stick, making a loop. Put the loop over the end of the stick, and what we're looking for here is you want the string to continue going the direction that it was going in the first place. On the first couple of knots, you really have to hold that in position. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. It wants to go off this direction. We turn it towards the stick, and we toss it over the stick. Cinch it down. Do it again. Now I'm holding this in the, in the direction that would that it should be where you're holding it. It's easier. I'm kind of holding off the sides. It's easier if you hold it off to the front, but I want you to see how I'm doing this. Now, as we do this, you'll start to see a little bead develop. And one bead is going to coil around the stick one direction, and the other bead is going to coil around, coil around the stick the other direction. When you go wrong, do you see how I've done this, and now the string isn't going the direction it wanted to go? The bead's going off one way, but the stitch, the string now is going off the other. That's because I twisted it the wrong direction. So I'm going to take this one off. And I'm going to turn out twisting it the right direction. So watch how it goes this time. I pick it up, I turn it towards the stick, I hook it over the end of the stick, and when I tighten it, it's going the right direction. Now it's hard to see, but we're looking at the stick as it's just about to cross over. Okay, so all I have to do is continue the pattern going over. And you see how, how the one side crosses over the other? It looks different, but you're doing exactly the same thing. And as soon as you get another couple of knots, the crossover will look fine. And that's all there is to it. As you see how I finish this up, the crossover looks great and everything is good. Okay, here we are with the finished version of the cover stitch. It started where my thumb is in the lo on the left side. You'll notice they cross over and I turn it over the other side and they cross over on the other side. I've done a real good job of doing this. These crossovers here, we're making X. Will all line up on this side, and they will again all line up on the other side. It's finished off in the upper right hand corner, and we will show you how that finish knot is accomplished in the next video.